Always the constant show off. <laughs> You're just as awful as the day we met. I get it one of these days. Your hidden rock throwing technique is within my grasp. What are you sketching this time? Just a little something. Is there a reason you're taking your anger out in some innocent rocks? Rock skipping is an invaluable skill to have in the job market. You're avoiding the question, as always. Hey! You can't read that, it's private property. Uh, yeah, you lost that privilege when we moved in together. Waitlisted. You said you were rejected by all the doctoral programs. I have been rejected by all of them. This one's just a maybe that will become a no. A maybe could become a yes. I told you maybe when you first asked me out. <laughs> you said. Yeah, yeah, you said I had to skip a rock and I could go on a date with you. Yeah, yeah. But I couldn't do it. We were kids. And then you gave me this rock. Because. Because it was pretty like you. You kept it? <laughs> of course. It's a memento. You know, maybe 20 schools saying no is a sign from a higher power that I'm not cut out for this. Okay, so let's pretend. Let's say you don't get in. What's the worst that could happen? Look, first, that's thousands of dollars wasted. Second, no job in my field. Third, years of my life down the drain. Fourth, I'll have to find something else. Fifth, we'd have to... Graham, wait, wait, wait. What... What if you try something else? Autumn, I'm not like you. I can't just throw caution to the wind. I need structure. I need something or someone telling me what to do. Why don't you drop everything and move across the country with me? <laughs> <laughs> And where would we go? Well, I have a cousin on the coast. We could stay there for a while. She has a studio. I could set up shop there. And we'd be good for a few months while you job search. And you think things will just be different once we move? Just think about it. We've been here our whole lives. Let's spice it up a little. All right, fine. <laughs> Do something totally different for once. You're sure about that? Ah, oh, you're just the best! <laughs> I'll see you soon. Oh, your things are just really great with us. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll talk to you soon. OK, bye. Bye. Hey. Hey. Just overheard. <laughs> Sounds like things are going good for you. Well, we have a place to live, but here's the best news. So I've been looking around, and there are already people interested in showcasing my work. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> hey, I'm. I'm really sorry that things have been rough for you lately. I know that can suck. Oh, no. Listen, I'm happy for you. It's just crazy to think that maybe the one reason I was being held back was because we were staying here. Well, on the bright side, think about all of the opportunities we might have outside of here. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Okay, I mean, one, we might get mugged or kidnapped. Two, we could run out of money. Three, your cousin's probably gonna hate me no matter what I do. Four, I definitely will not make more friends. Five. I'm sorry. 
sure we'll be fine. I just don't want to get my hopes up for nothing. You need to stop being so negative all the time. I mean, what's worrying going to do for you? Sometimes you have to be realistic. Sometimes you have to dream big. <laughs> yes, dream big. That's what we're all told to do as kids. But guess what? Not everybody's dreams come true. I mean, that's why they're called dreams. Oh, you always do this, this woe is me angle. It's not something that people like. You know, it doesn't work here. It's certainly not going to work over there. I'm sorry, okay, but I put a lot of time, you effort, and effort. You put a lot of time and effort, yeah. I know, people put time and effort into things that don't pan out for them. Yeah, I suppose they do. But all I'm saying is that worrying's not going to help us. You're right. But someone has to be the worrier in this relationship. <laughs> I. I know, I love that about you, I do. But I'm, I'm telling you right now, that's not gonna fix anything. I mean, why can't we just look forward to what could happen? Okay. some exciting news to share. You're right. I was being so short-sighted about everything. You got in. I got in. I don't know why I was acting like that all for nothing. You were right. You were so right. Told you, maybe could become a, a yes. This place is so important to me, to us. It's where we met, where we had our first kiss, our first. Okay, yeah, I get it. What? What's the point? I want to take this opportunity presented to me. Oh. Look, I like the idea of going somewhere far away with you, starting anew, but isn't me getting in enough of a reason for us to stay here? I'm, I'm not saying you shouldn't. Do it, I just... <laughs> Why even stay here? I mean, what does this place have that others don't? I just... I don't get... I don't get We've it. We've got our friends, our family. This opportunity okay, for us. Your friends and your family, right? You're an opportunity for Gosh. you. It's... I don't have that. I don't have any of that. <sighs> what if I want to go? Does that matter? Of course it matters. Well, then let's go. It's a huge risk for us. We should stay here. You know, every choice is going to have a risk. Do you know how many months we've wasted waiting here for on this opportunity of yours? How much we've sacrificed? Trust me. Can't you do that? I do trust you. I love you. I'm just, I'm just scared about what could happen. If you're with me, does... And what's, what's the worst that, that could happen? I think I think we should do what makes us each happy. Okay. Autumn, wait. That's not, I'm, 